We're gonna eat, and then we're gonna swim, and then we're gonna have some fun, and then we're gonna go back to the ship. Woo! It's gonna be a whole bunch of Mexican there, fun. Like showed you this morning the adventure of the seas we are in mexico we're gonna go down there out there take a left meet our tour guide today we're gonna get on a van with our there's brennan hi brennan all right good morning top of the morning to you yeah? all you day in that bed you know brennan just dropped an ungodly bomb in the oh no we are going to go with our friends who we haven't introduced to yet but officially but we're going to introduce them in the van and these are our friends Paula and Brett and Nolan Campbell and Darby. And they are gonna go on a van with us. We've hired a driver who's gonna take us around Cozumel. I don't mind telling you we're a little bit nervous because of there's been some stuff that's happened in Mexico lately, but we like assess the situation. We think it's pretty cool. We're up for an adventure. There you go. Hi Let's Mikey. Let's hope it's not a death adventure. Let's hope it's not. <laughs> Let's hope it's not. Let's hope it's safe and fun and a little bit of an adventure. Breakfast this morning, Brennan. Good morning, Brennan. Katie, good morning, Katie. Good morning. Mama. Ryan and Daddy-o. We started at this table and then... We migrated. I don't know we're waiting me, for I don't know what the problem was. We're, we decided to take two tables because we're waiting for our friends, who, by the way, we're going to introduce you to today. Here it is day four and we haven't introduced you yet, but... Um, but I think they ended up getting their own table, Kate. What? Probably. Yeah. You think they did? Probably. Why should give this guy a receipt? Wait, wait, what? Oh, it. now they're coming over. Oh, no. You guys are now coming to our table? Why would you do that? I wasn't coming over here. <laughs> well, now I feel bad. About what? Because this gentleman over here was like, are you guys going to be using these seats? And we're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, another friend was coming. Oh. Not you should go apologize. Seat.
guys, we are ready for our tequila tasting. Everybody ready? They're making the tequila here. Strawberry? Uh, Amarillo sauce, like syrup. Everyone's like almond. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Tour. They took us to this beautiful beach, beautiful beach on the eastern side of Cozumel. Take a peek at what we are looking at here. Oh my gosh. Yes. Ryan's going to take over the vlog. Watch this. Okay, so this is Cozumel. Look at all these weathered rocks. You got to be careful because some of these things can get pretty sharp. But, as you come up here, look at this. And it's beautiful, it goes all the way down the coast. So pretty. We're gonna vibe out over there. We ordered some food. Holy cow, this guy with a parrot. Do you see him? Holy cow, look at the parrot, man. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna order some food. Me and Katie are gonna take some pictures. We're gonna have a great time. Ooh, a little Mexican. They call this the Mexican Fiesta, Brennan. I don't want to grab with my hands, but this is pussy. Go, go, go. It's a little chicken fajita, a little beef fajita, a little quesadilla, well, guacamole. Over there. I should probably grab one of those. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know what they're tacos, maybe? Rice? Beans? Chicken fajitas, beef fajitas, uh, quesadillas, guacamole. Uh, pico de gallo. Nice. Rice. Yellow rice, black beans. And whatever that is, looks that looks like my favorite right there. Ooh, a little, a little juicy. <laughs> is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. All right, you guys. So this is the beach where we are hanging out for about an hour before we go back to the ship. I'm gonna try to go in the water. They tell me it's gorgeous over there. You've probably already seen it because Ryan took you over there. I haven't seen it yet. Mike is somewhere along there. I go take a peek and then try to sit in this hammock. Katie and Ryan are doing a photo shoot up in over the rocks. Maybe we'll put some of these pictures in. Oh my gosh, look at these stairs. They're not even stairs, they're just sticks. Look at Kate, look at my sister. Ah! Guys, we're in Mexico. Hey, hey. We were just up at that little hut. You see the little hut where my beautiful mom is and brother? Uh, me and Katie took some Instagram flickshirts. Sorry. We took some pictures up there and uh, they were absolutely amazing. So you've You'll probably see those at It's Ryan Donnelly if you want to, or at It's K Donnelly. Anyway, uh, we're back here. All the food? Looks like Daddy O clutched up <laughs> with a platter. Brennan was here. Brennan was here. It's really bad. Brennan was here. Imagine he. Right, did you, see me just save you you absolutely just fell. <laughs> but you saved yourself a little. Anyway, guys. We're gonna eat, and then we're gonna swim, and then we're gonna have some fun, and then we're gonna back to the ship. Woo! It's gonna be a whole bunch of Mexican there, fun. Like over this yeah. Uh, yes, but nice uh, we should probably just, like just go one, right there. Is there a lot of seaweed in it?
this way. Where's Mike going? Who's going for a swim? So cool. We got senior frogs to our left, the celebrity summit to our right. We got jams coming from senior frogs. We got hotel room service blasting. It's just an awesome day in Mexico, everybody. Dad's doing his laps. I don't know if you can see him over there. Meet me at the hotel room. We can catch dad doing his laps. <laughs> so we got just for one second so I can show them underwater. <laughs> taking this picture just because I think it's cool. Doesn't it look cool right between those two ships? I think it's awesome. It's crazy. Brennan said this morning, imagine if there was an animal that had a big cruise ship. Ladies and gentlemen, it's dinner time. I got mom and Darby behind me. The rest of the crew is already coming in. Yeah. And we are, good evening, good evening. I love being on a cruise. I love having the dinner. You just walk right in, you sit down, you order. Everyone's so super friendly. Look at our huge table. Everyone else has their little peony tables. We have the extendo table. All of us sit here. All of us sit here, have dinner every night, except for the first night I slept. And um, we're gonna have a good time. Today's lobster tail night, so me and Kate are super excited. You guys, tonight's dinner is lobster tail with rice pilaf, but I also ordered duck a l'orange because he said it was really good. Mike, what'd you get? Lobster? I love lobster. You did. Is that it? Just that? Really? He can have some risotto. There's some mushroom risotto. Brad got mushroom. We all, we all ordered two meals. We're not going to be hungry. No, because I really only wanted this with a lobster tail, but then I got the whole meal and this. I didn't mean to do that, but everybody down the row got lobster. Look at that. Mm -hmm. You like it? I'm sitting out on my lanai right now. We finished dinner, we finished the casino, we finished euchre, we have our, have our rolling euchre tournament going. I'm enjoying this beautiful veranda and the wonderful sounds of the sea. And 
very happy that our day in Cozumel went so well. It was a little bit sketchy. We were nervous in the beginning that it was going to potentially be dangerous, but it was not at all. The beautiful island of Cozumel and the people of Cozumel take such great pride in their, um, their beautiful island and the tourism industry, and it was totally wonderful. We had such a great tour with um, Juan. He called himself Juan in a Million. <laughs> And Christoph, I think was his name, was our driver. And just so much fun. And then came back on the ship and and wound down. We went to the hot tub. We um, went to dinner, did all the stuff. So I'm so very sad that tomorrow's our last day. But we're going to make it a great day. Oh, my gosh. We saw the best magician, too. We forgot to tell you about that. And I don't even think I filmed the magician. He was absolutely amazing. Not only was he... Ryan, what do you call it when he knows what you're thinking? What do you call a magician who knows what you're thinking? Clairvoyant. clairvoyant. He was clairvoyant. So he was able to like guess what people were thinking and guess like the passcodes to their phone. It was crazy. And then he did a bunch of sleight of hand stuff with cards. It, he was so great. It was the best show we've seen on the ship. So um, anyway, it was absolutely amazing. So that's what made me happy today. You guys comment below what made you guys happy today. And if you haven't watched the first few videos, from this series of our trip, um, please take a look and see our cruise videos right here. So, what? Can you share? Yeah, you want to share? Here, but it's dark. But here, I'll pass the phone over to Ryan. This is Ryan. Hola, mi amigos. I know you might be just seeing a black screen right now. Hold on. Let me get some light. Wait, watch out, watch out. Oh, don't lose my phone. Hey, guys. Ryan <laughs> made me happy today with Mexico uh, and our tour guide and our, our whole tour was uh, fantabulous I think is the correct word to say there um, and me and Cam are kind of killing it in Euchre so that is what's up you. yeah but we still had nine points and we still won the other game ten to four and we're gonna win the whole thing knock on fake wood anyway Love you guys. We'll see you next time.